you guys, welcome back to another video, in today's episode we'll be playing some more Red Redemption. This is the final episode for Red Dead Redemption guys, it's been a long way, next up I'm doing Fallout for my game series. And yeah, this is the last mission, we'll also be doing um, Jack's Revenge, which is the Jack ending as well. So yeah, well, let's just go over to the mission and start the ending of the game, so hope you enjoyed this game series, it's been a really, really fun one for me to do. A lot of people didn't like it, but I liked it, so yeah, let's do it. Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother, we do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. The day John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh... You ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're going to be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John, come here. John, come here, quick. Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. Now, you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. For the love of God! Alright, so we're just beginning the last, um, last mission, so we need to get behind cover. Take out some of the soldiers. Yeah, so, um, this might actually be a hard mission to do. If I don't die in this mission, that would be great. Yeah, this this rifle's really the best for it, doing this mission. I knocked off his hat, alright. There we are. There is one there. Oh yeah. All right, we're taking all them out. Get inside. I'll keep watch out here. All right, so we gotta go to the house. There we go. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside. You hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, All right. What do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. All right, some more, there's some more on the way. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? Right, I just keep knocking people's hats over and dead eye, so I'm not gonna do that. 
Whoa. Right. Right. Shoot that one in the head. What? Let me fire. That was it. Wow, that took a while. Low health. Do I have any meds? Right, kit. Right, I'll just have to wait and regen. I'm trying not to die on this. Right. He's not coming out. Whoa. Well, now he is. Right, where is he? I can't find him. He's... Oh, there he is. One of them had a fire bottle. Molotov. Right. Right, I missed that shot. That was it. Wow, spamming that button is annoying. Join uncle. Hang in there, uncle. I'm gonna get you out of here safe. Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby. <coughs> take them and <coughs> don't worry about me. Let's get him out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh my god! They killed him! Come on, son! Ain't nothing we can do for him now! We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there! All right, crouch. Stay close. Keep your eyes open. Wow, we're still getting shot. But the whole family's shooting. Hold on. Wow. From the silo, let's do it from the silo. Don't ease up now! We gotta clear some Whoa. I'm proud of 
you, Jack! All right, you're covered! Now go! Go! Watch your head! This ain't looking good. All right, switch. Come on! We can do this! Right, <laughs> wow, we're nearly close to doing this. Oh, Abigail died. Wow. I was too busy switching guns. Shouldn't have done that. Right, I'll do it from the silo again. Why not? That was a pretty horrible attempt at first. Alright, there we are. One more. Now, quick! Run for it! There we are, so another. Alright, you're covered! Now go! Alright, join Abigail and Jack in the barn. Let's go run there right now. Hey, come on. Now listen. Jack, Norlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go. Get. <laughs> Here we go, we're about to go straight in. They're all ready to shoot us. Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go! Okay, so we're playing as Jack now, and John Marston's just died. And we're gonna have to make it back over to the farm and see 
how I ended, sadly. It was just the saddest part of the game. I, I cried when I first played this and I just saw this. It was that sad. Get okay, so we're playing as Jack now, and we're gonna go hunt down the people who killed John. So, see John's death right there, written on there. And we've got the US Army uniform added. So, yeah, we're just gonna go hunt down the people who killed John, and I'll see you all later. When we get there. Okay, so we're over at the place where we start the stranger mission to go and find out who killed John Marston. That's a mouthful to say, but yeah, this is the mission where we find the people who killed John Marston, and we're just going to start it right now. You need help? Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross. No, but well knew of him. A fine man if he wanted results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. Okay guys, we're over at Lake Don Julia and we're just going to talk to Edgar Ross's wife and she'll tell us where Edgar Ross is. So yeah, we'll just um, talk to her right now. How do you do, young man? Excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. 
They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. Okay, so we've made it over to Raya del Toro and we'll just speak to his Edgar Ross's brother Philip, so we'll just go there right now and speak to him. Climb over this wall here. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Well, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts with his wife. Wish I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. I thought this letter was important. Okay, so we're just gonna go and find Ed Edgar Ross down at the river and then we're gonna kill him. Yeah, kill him because we're going to get our revenge for what he did to John. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure as shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one, too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well! I ain't going nowhere, old man. Okay, so that's just been a great series to do. Hope you guys enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.
Thank you.